Hey, Daily Dosers, this is Pastor Larry here. And this uh, last weekend, yesterday, Chris Brown brought a great message to us on, on Easter. And this week, we're taking a look at this little thought. Because of the resurrection, I, and I have the privilege of kicking this off, and I want to tell you what it means to me. Because of the resurrection, I'm a Jesus follower. Now, you might think like, well, what's so special about that? No, I want you to understand this. Because of the resurrection, because it's a historical fact, not a spiritual fact, I'm a follower of Jesus, no matter where it takes me, no matter what it costs. You see, I think sometimes we've, we've grown up with this idea of Easter and the resurrection to the point that, that we think of it almost as a spiritual truth and we don't grasp how important the fact that it's a real point in history is. In fact, I've even heard people say things like, you know, Christianity has made such a difference in my life and my morals and my family and my marriage that even if it wasn't true, I'd still be a Christian. Uh, even if there never really was a resurrection, I, I would still follow Jesus. And I look at those people and I say, you are an absolute fool. And this isn't Larry's opinion. This is the Bible's opinion. This is actually the Apostle Paul's opinion. Let me read from 1 Corinthians chapter 15 what he has to say. If Christ has not been raised, literally raised from the dead, alive and well today, your faith is futile. It's absolutely worthless. It has no value. Besides that, you were still in your sins. Your sins haven't been paid for because it's a resurrection that guaranteed that what Jesus said he was doing was accepted by the Father as a payment for our sins. And then those who have fallen asleep in Christ that we talk about seeing again in heaven, they're lost. We'll never see them again. And catch this. If only for this life we have hope in Christ, we are of all people most to be pitied. Think about that with me for a moment. The Apostle Paul says, if this isn't a historic fact, if Jesus isn't alive and well today, there is not only no value in Christianity, there is not only no forgiveness of our sins, but of all people in this world, we're the biggest fools ever, most to be pitied. I wanna encourage you this week to maybe consider that. Maybe today, just Google proofs of the resurrection. We don't have time in this daily dose to dig through a whole bunch of them, but if you do that, you will see a number of things pop up. Take some time and read them. I want to share with you in my own life, that's when I went from having some sense of cultural Christianity while I go to church, my family did, whatever, but I'm totally picking and choosing how I'm going to live, and if anything, the Bible's my cosmic consultant too. Man, it's all different. It centered on one day. I was on a thing called a travel camp, and I'm reading my Bible on a bus, reading through Matthew, and the light went on. This is history. This is true. And from that day on, my life has never, ever been the same. And I want to encourage you that your life will never be the same. When Easter goes from being a holiday, when Easter goes from being a spiritual truth to the deep understanding that no, it's a point in time in history and he is alive and well today. Because of the resurrection, I'm a Jesus follower.